They want us to find the zeros of f of x, this function right here, given that that's one of the zeros. So here's a really nice shortcut that you can that you can use. I've done in other videos. If that's one of the zeros, then so is its conjugate, complex conjugate, which is negative one plus three i. And there's this cool trick. When I multiply, you could have mul you could have multiplied this thing together with this thing, and it's very messy and it takes a long time. And your answer would be x squared plus something times x plus some constant. Mm -hmm. Well, there's a better shortcut. What goes right here is the opposite. Actually, let me just change it like this. What goes right here, if I put a negative in front of that, the, the, um, the sum of the zeros goes in this spot right here, and the product of the zeros goes in that spot right there. So let's look at the sum of these two things. That's really easy. It's just negative 2. So this becomes a positive 2, and negative negative 2 is a positive 2. And the product of these two zeros, multiply them out, negative 1 minus 3i times negative 1 plus 3i becomes positive 1. These insides and outsides cancel out because they're com conjugates of each other. And then it's negative 9i squared, which just this becomes a negative 1, so it's positive 9. So that's just 10. And there's your answer. So if that's my, if that is my product of those zeros, then what I can do with this is use long division to find out what the other factor is. Mm -hmm. So let's do that as well. So let's, let's do this. I'll change to green. That divided by that is x, multiply it down, put parentheses around it, x cubed plus 2x squared plus 10x, distribute the negative in, here's a negative, so distribute the negative in, always do your work, I just always do the work so I don't make silly mistakes, those go away, that becomes 2x squared, that becomes plus 4x plus 20, divide that by that, you get 2 positive 2, and sure enough, when I multiply it through, I get 2x squared plus 4x plus 20, which I should get. If I didn't get that, I would have a problem, because I'd mm -hmm. have a remainder, which would mean this is not a factor of this. Think about it. If you divide 24 by 8, and you have a remainder, you have something left over, that would mean that that's not a factor of that. But when they are a factor, this times this equals this, and that's exactly what I have. That times that equals that. And so the question would be now, um, they might ask you to go even a step further and say write it as a product of its linear factors, in which case you just t go back and you use these two right here, and you write x minus negative 1 minus 3i times x minus negative 1 plus 3i. And there's your product of factors if they wanted that. Or they might ask you to write it as a product of of simp the simplest non-complex factors or something. I don't know how they would say it, but they might want it written like that times that, either one.